Madam Speaker, I rise today to highlight the raging crisis that continues to plague our southern border. Since President Biden stepped foot into the Oval Office, his failed policies and radical open border agenda have provoked an unprecedented, unprecedented illegal alien invasion at our southern border. And while Vice President Kamala Harris, our so-called border czar, comically claims that the southern border is secure, the American people know good and well that this is a blatant falsehood. But unlike our delusional border czar, the numbers don't lie. Nearly five million illegal aliens have crossed the southern border since Biden and Harris took office. To make matters worse, 66 individuals on the terrorist screening database have been stopped trying to illegal, illegally enter our country. This is more than double the last five years combined. Double the last five years combined. Furthermore, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has seized enough fentanyl in this fiscal year alone to kill almost 2.4 billion people, over seven times the U.S. population. The southern border is, in fact, not secure, and the Biden administration knows it. But after all, chaotic open borders have always been their plan. Unless the Biden administration abandons this sinister scheme, communities across the country will only continue will only continue to be ravaged by deadly drugs and border lawlessness. It's simple. Americans deserve border security, not an administration actively manufacturing mayhem, advocating for mass amnesty, and emboldening dangerous cartels. President Biden must immediately about face on his open border agenda, commit to securing our southern border, and finally put American people first.